welcome to another version of Tuesday Newsday, where I just make a big deal about two stories that I've seen or heard in the news, either online or on TV. So the first story is, have you ever heard of no makeup selfies? It's basically where a girl takes a picture of themselves without any makeup and donates three pounds or four euro to cancer awareness to help support them. That has blown up since last week. It was either two weeks ago or last week that it started off, but he has blown up all over the world. It's crazy! Like, I did not know what was going on when I saw it. i say, like, over 50 of my friends on Facebook has posted a picture of them without makeup and nominated, say, three to five people. And I didn't know where this came from. It's just appeared out of nowhere. Some people are doing an error of basically they're taking a makeup, no makeup selfie and then they just that's all they do. The reason why this was created was to, was to raise money for cancer awareness. Why would you just take a picture with no, no makeup on? That's just stupid. You have to raise the money to help people. That's why they created it. A lot of people has done it. In England alone, in two days they raised over two million pounds. Recently, it spread to guys where instead of taking a selfie without makeup, they wear makeup. I bet they still raise money for cancer awareness, which is really weird. But and so far. Thank God nobody has nominated me, but if someone does nominate me, I will probably go overboard with it. If you're watching this video and you haven't done the makeup, no makeup selfie and you're a girl, then do it because it's, it's, it's for a good cause. If you want to do it, text, uh, take a picture of yourself with no makeup on and put it on Facebook or Twitter and text B to 70099. It does help people a lot um, to raise money to, for the cancer research. Even celebrities are doing it. Like, recently, Cheryl Cole did it. Kim Marsh. If you haven't heard of her, she uh, plays the character in Coronation Street. Also, I think Gwyneth Paltrow does it too, but I don't know if she did it because I think she was actually uh, doing a different thing, was, which was Ward Wardy, I think, or something like that. But if she was doing it, then she did it too. I, I think it's an amazing cause. So if you haven't done already, then like I said, text B2. 700-799. Next story is so many celebrity couples are like becoming pregnant. Like recently, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher, well supposedly Mila Kunis is pregnant, but I don't know. It apparently it was it was announced over the kiss cam on like a game or something. His coolness to her hotness, then you got an awesome baby. The next three couples is kinda weird because Okay, first it was it's Scarlett Johansson. She was pregnant a couple of months, like she, she became pregnant a couple of months, I think it was like a month ago, with her fiance Roman Dunnick. Also, very recently, Hemsworth and his wife Elsa Pataki are pregnant with twins. They are gonna have two very, very awesome children. Like, wait, what, what do you think? Chris Hemsworth is awesome. And his wife is hot. Chris Hemsworth's children can't not be cool. And lastly, Christian Bale and his wife CB Blazik are pregnant too with the, the, with their second child. Christian Bale, who's Batman, and Chris Hemsworth, who's Thor, and Scarlett Johansson, who's Black Widow, all superheroes, and they're all having children. Is this like some kind of connection? What next? Is Robert Downey Jr. going to have a, a child with his wife? Then Chris Evans shouldn't have, have, should, should have a child with some girl. Because then, then, then they'd be all, the Avengers would all have kids. They'd be like, that would create the young Avengers. Batman's having a child too, which is which he should call David Wayne. Yeah. So, yeah. Put their aside. I know though, I didn't really make a big deal about those two stories. I tried to look for stories I could make a big deal about, but I didn't find anything, so I wanted to talk about those two stories about this
trans awareness and the uh, couples having babies. Maybe these kids, maybe the kids that out there want to play superheroes is gonna become superheroes too. Actors, they'll become actors, so become superheroes, of course. Unless they fall into a bad toxic waste. I don't know. Which is probably not possible, but. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. If you, if, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So long.